Well, a California man was confronted by transit police in San Francisco for eating a breakfast sandwich while standing on a train platform last week. That's right. Doing that breaks a state law that ended with a man being handcuffed and given a citation for eating a breakfast sandwich on the train platform. Now, this is in the place where the new San Francisco DA greenlighted that people could pee anywhere without fear of prosecution. <laughs> so you can pee on the street, but you can't eat a sandwich. Think about that. So commuter Steve Foster was going to go to work when a transit officer stopped him mid-munch, alerting Foster that he was breaking the law. The officer told Foster that eating on a BART train or platform was illegal. He then grabbed Foster's backpack and threatened jail. Seems a little dramatic to me, but it's not like this breakfast snacker was a serial killer. Mm. Or he was nothing like the coffee that filed a police report for being mugged. <laughs> or even worse, eating pun cakes on the platform. <laughs> Keith, they're turning against me. I feel it. Uh, they're turning on you. You're right. Well, three other officers arrived on the scene. Now we got four officers. They handcuffed Foster and they led him to a holding room. A spokesperson for BART said that Foster was not arrested following the incident but he was issued a citation for eating inside our paid area, which is a violation of state law in California. Foster reportedly faces a $250 fine and 48 hours of community service for his citation. I think you just gotta love California and their excellent crackdown on breakfast sandwich eaters. I guess officials out there just can't take a yoke. All right, a crafty feline at a Texas animal rescue facility has been put in solitary cat confinement for letting out all the other cats in the shelter <laughs> multiple times. A real catastrophe, if you ask me. <laughs> Houston Animal Rescue Friends for Life stated that the cat named Quilty loves to let cats out of the senior room, and he was doing it several times a day. Now, the cat's bio on the pet adoption website states, and I quote, I do know that I like to open closed doors, and when I see one, it challenges me, and I work hard to get it open, and I'm usually successful, end quote. <laughs> Obviously, Quilty's conduct left the animal rescue staff perplexed. <laughs> perplexed, I said. <laughs> Quilty ended up being banished to the lobby of the facility for a brief hiatus. Now, the Friends website explained his roommates missed him while he was banished to the lobby. They enjoyed their nighttime escapades around the shelter. The staff, however, did not miss the morning cat wrangling, so we'll just have to agree to disagree there. Uh, Governor? Yes, sir, Keith? I hate to interrupt you, but did you okay. ever tell you about the time I was cat-sitting for my niece's feline and it, it escaped outside? I didn't know how to find it. The next morning, when I saw it way up in a tree, I tried everything I knew to lure it down. So I called the fire department. You know what the dispatcher said? No. They don't come get cats down anymore. Really? She said it would come down when it was hungry enough. So I asked, now how do you know that? And she said, have you ever seen a cat skeleton up a tree? <laughs> Makes sense. You know, that's the first joke you ever told. It made sense, Keith, yeah. I gotta tell you. <laughs> Done. You just interrupted a perfect story here. Let's go back to Quilty, because Quilty was placed in an integration kennel to get readjusted. However, Quilty apparently also released himself from the integration kennel. <laughs> the rescue staff joking that the cat released himself of his own recognizance. Now, because of this Houdini-like conduct, Quilty has amassed more than 30,000 fans on his personal Instagram titled, Free Quilty. His profile describes him as a door ninja with an advanced degree in cat killus. <laughs> now, it seems fitting to end this story with a cat joke. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> All right, before we wrap things up, I wanted to tell you that the other day, I saw a really unique sign. And I thought to myself, is this a sign that we would do a segment on signs? Or am I just hallucinating? Well, I wasn't, so here we go. 
Do you ever take the time to read signs that we whiz by in our community each day? Well, if you did, you might notice ones like this. Here is one from a veterinarian whose horse mayo nays. <laughs> Audience is a little slow on that one, Keith. It's finally catching up to them. Or a hotel that won't make an unbearable mistake twice. <laughs> or a company who is accident free since Joe left. Poor Joe. Or here's a sign about a church that quotes wisely from the book of mom. Or a man who just takes signs too seriously, that's for sure. Well, just like a cat that's used up eight lives and is stuck in a dog kennel, we gotta go. But always remember that we read the news If you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.